Our first competitor represents Japan, 17-year-old Haru Kikuchi, fourth after the, uh, after the short program. So he's just off the podium at this point. He needs 112.10 to take the lead. 111.12 is his personal best. No skate to wake me up. Haru Kakiuchi opens the final group in the men's free skate and he opened his program with that wonderful portable toilet. Yeah, that was pretty amazing. Just nailed that with a 1.49 plus GOE added to 9.5 base value. So he collects 10.99 points on that first element. As we watch right here, there's the quad toe straight up all the way around clean. Freely gets back quickly, rides that edge, just beautiful. Positive GOE. So he comes back down the ice for the triple loop. That was solid as well. And triple Lutz, triple toe loop. He was so focused. See, not a lot of flow in the triple toe loop. That's okay. He gets a combo done. Triple sock out, double axe a little bit later. You can see getting a little bit tired. The landing's a little bit sloppier, but here he picks up energy. 
in this step sequence and lots of animation in his face as well. The music changes pace. Such a difference to the Caruso from the short yeah. program. And he looked more comfortable with this, I thought. Yeah, he did. Absolutely natural. Hung on to that last jump and, and there is the ending. And a, a good example of a skater that I suspect the double axle technique makes me believe that the triple axle isn't as comfortable for him. Bypassing that, using the quad toe, which is obviously so relatively easy for him and good to see not sticking to the convention of having to ascend the jumping ladder bit by bit with the axle before the yeah, Really good assessment, Mark. You're right. That, that, the technique on the axle is, although he might be able to squeak one out, I don't think it would be on a consistent basis at this point. So he's gone to the quad toe, which is not bad either, that's for sure. And as he develops the triple axle a little bit more, get it consistent. Really big smile coming off the ice here. And Interesting just to see now as the, the season progresses, what will be medal worthy. So mm -hmm. last week, the, it was 114 above that secured a top three place in the free skate. But then in Istanbul the week before, it was 113 above. So I, I feel like as the season progresses, we have to assume that what's necessary for top three finish will be of, of a higher point scoring. Yeah, we'll have to see, but probably around 135 to 140 or just above 140, but it'll depend. We'll see what this group will deliver. More stats, more numbers. He'll need a 112 to take the lead. He'll have that, that's for sure. Mm. He's in the mid sixes in the PCs as well, and certainly added up a lot of technical element score. And Haru had been eighth last year in Estrava and then seventh in the first junior Grand Prix assignment for him in Linz. So to get a medal mm. would be a real statement. A big improvement from last year to this year. 133.87, you see that reaction. Whoa, mm -hmm. the season's best, obviously. That's first in the free program. Total competition score of 282. Uh, <laughs> wow, they are thrilled. And I would say surprised.